What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Netflix new movie, Fairy. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Hell yeah, let me see you, my fellow fans of Netflix Dutch Belgian series Undercover. What a great show, such an underrated show. And what a brilliant idea that they expanded it by making this prequel that chronicles the early years of future kingpin Ferry Bowman. And just like the show, this Ferry movie is also equally hardcore, packed with gangster suspense, very well written and well performed. Even its sense of humor is built around the violence without minimizing its severity. I have nothing but praises for it. Written by Bart Uydenhauen and Nico Molinar and directed by Cecilia Verheyden, Ferry is set in 2006 in the city of Amsterdam. Ferry Bowman works for drug lord Ralph Brink, a powerful criminal and Ferry's mentor. One day the gang is brutally mugged and Ralph's son is severely injured. When all leads point to a group of campers in Brabant, Ferry is sent out to find the perpetrators. After years of absence, Ferry returns to his beloved Brabant, which he has fled many years before. The difficult reunion with his estranged family, the return to the camper life he had forsaken, and the meeting with his charming neighbor Danielle all gradually crawl under Ferry's skin. His journey will lead to unexpected outcomes and put Ferry's loyalty to the test. Starring Frank Lemers, Elise Schapp, Monique Hendricks, Raymond Therese, and huge staple. Now, when I said early years, I didn't mean adolescence or high school years. No, the story doesn't go that far back. I guess you could probably call this the pre-rise of Ferry Bowman. He still answers to somebody else. An incident happens which then forces him to return home. And you know what? There's actually something very sweet and endearing about Ferry's journey here, in the midst of all that gangster stuff. The writers go out of their way to humanize him even more by having him confront his sister, in addition to the cute and unplanned budding romance between him and Danielle. This is why we like Ferry Bowman despite what he does for a living. And it's because he's an anti-hero, like Tony Soprano, a villain with a heart of gold, if you will. But the extent of his soft spot only covers the people closest to him, the people he gives a damn about. And in this movie, we see the process through which his circle of giving a damn eventually goes to include Danielle. Seeing actors Frank Lemaire's and Elise Schapp step into these roles again but younger is also part of the appeal. There's no Marvel Studios de-aging technology here. It's all just tapping into what these characters are about before they meet and how their collision changes them. I don't know what it is. It's not as simple as opposites attract, but it's a dynamic that's so much fun and so amusing to watch. As if Frank Lemaire's blonde hair hasn't convinced us already. Do you need to have watched Undercover first in order to enjoy Fairy? I would argue not really. I mean, it would help to have that information in the back of your head beforehand. But even if you haven't watched the show, I think as far as prequel goes, Ferry does a splendid job of being an enjoyable standalone. 